Welcome to DTS Systems Radar Signal Emulator Demo. Before the formal part of this demo begins, I want to give a little bit of a background about our company. DTA Systems is a sensor interface and processing company that addresses various electronic warfare applications. Please visit our new website for details. We pioneered the 10 gigabit network infrastructure that allows scalable and flexible solutions for our clients. We were established in 2007 and are headquartered in Ottawa, Canada. In the US, our corporate office is in Denver, Colorado. We hope you enjoy this brief demo. For questions, please email or visit our homepage. The radar signal emulator software emulates or recreates a complex electromagnetic environment comprising of multiple radar emitters and receivers for testing of early warning radar systems and for other electronic intelligence applications. Multiple radar emitters and receivers are fully modeled with their motion waveform dynamics, phased array designs, array geometries, scanning pattern, beam patterns, side lobe suppression constraints, channel simulations and target cross section modeling is all accomplished within this software. This complex radar scenario generation is accomplished by simulation of aggregate baseband IQ data from the perspective of the receiver. This IQ data is then translated to RF and then transmitted through DTA hardware platforms for testing any early warning radar systems under consideration. This aggregate baseband IQ data, as seen from the perspective of the receiver under test, can be pre-computed and stored within the RAID server's hard drives. During operation, IQ data is streamed via 10 gigabit networks to one of DTA's tunable transmit solutions for generating the RF scenario. The advantages of this concept includes simple architecture, small size, low cost, ultra long scenario generation due to availability of virtually unlimited storage space and convenience for multi-channel and multi-emitter simulations. Pre-recorded mission data can also be played back from the IQ data which is stored within the hard drives of the RAID server. The multi-channel radar signal emulation software can be ported to any of the two hardware platforms shown on this slide. It can be a wideband platform which has the base system with two channels with instantaneous bandwidth of 500 MHz covering 500 MHz to 18 GHz and is expandable to four or more channels. Or it could also be ported on a portable simulator platform with two 80 MHz instantaneous bandwidth channels covering a frequency range from 1 MHz to 8 GHz and optionally 18 GHz. The software is entirely executed within the RAID servers within these platforms and the host machine or the PC or a laptop is used for transmitting the input data structures that define the scenario under consideration. The multi-channel radar signal emulator system which is comprised of the radar signal emulator software is capable of simulating motion dynamics between the radar platforms which are the transmit platforms, receiver platforms and radar targets. Every model radar transmitter, receiver and target have their own initial location, velocity and acceleration defined in XYZ components. The RSE software incorporates these motion parameters for all platforms and targets and uses this information to induce Doppler shifts, path loss, channel fading perturbations over radar fast time and slow time within the simulated IQ data. Motion trajectory data could also be uploaded separately for every transmitter, target and receiver or derived from a digital elevation map. The RSE software provides a comprehensive waveform design suite comprising of 13 different type of modulations on pulse in addition to user defined modulations. The standard library of RSE's waveform design includes linear FMs, non-linear FMs, polyphase codes, pseudo-random codes, chaotic map-based codes, noise radar waveforms, standard Barker codes, Frank codes, Costas codes, etc. RSE software could also be used to design pulse pairs, pulse triplets with variable pulse widths and incorporate 
waveform features such as staggering or jittering over short PRIs, pulse group repetition intervals. The RSE software is totally open architecture and hence any waveform design that could be mathematically formulated can be implemented and put on baseband IF and RF or multiple phase coherent wideband channels. The RSE software provides a capability to define the phase arrays at every single transmitter and receiver. These phased array designs give the user uh, choices with respect to design of the antenna elements themselves or the geometry in which they are incorporated within 2D or 3D arrays. Array orientation definitions, array normal definitions, the rotation rates can all be set within the software with polarization definitions. The RSE software can also be configured to define volumetric scans for both the transmitters and receivers in azimuth and elevation. The scan sectors uh, with any arbitrary scan bin resolutions could be defined for transmitters and receivers. The scan trajectories could be defined which could include conventional raster, helical, conical scans or any user defined scan within the scan sector. The software performs coherent integration over scan bins to simulate aggregate IQ data to induce the scanning effects. Additionally, the RSE software can also exercise beam width and side lobe constraints as defined by the user. This is achieved by an optimization algorithm which runs within the software. So this is the demo setup for the radar signal emulator software where we have the software which is embedded within the hardware platform that you see here. Uh, I'm going to show you the digital to analog output from the hardware platform which has been put through a power splitter and fed to the oscilloscope and spectrum analyzer. So this is the graphical user interface for the radar signal emulator software which is residing within the hardware platform. We have restricted the functionalities of the radar signal emulator software for this demonstration. What you see here on your screen are different tabs within this graphical user interface to define the environment. The first tab that you see here is the pulsed radar definition tab where you can set the pulse repetition interval, the pulse group repetition interval, the frequency characteristics of the emitter, the center frequency, modulation bandwidth, pulse width and modulation on pulse. In addition to this, we can configure some continuous wave transmitters or we can also configure the receiver array which is currently set to be a uniform linear array with five elements and a choice of element type which is isotropic short dipole or closed, closed dipoles. We can define the motion dynamics of the receiver within this panel. This panel here configures the transmit parameters of all the radar emitters within the environment. We can define different phase delay geometries for each of the transmitters and have the location dynamics defined for every one of them separately. We can define the scan sectors in azimuth and elevation, set the orientation of array normals, uh, time delays or offsets between each of these transmitters. We can also define the side lobe separation and beam width constraints for each of these transmitters separately. We can define radar targets within the environment with their target radar cross sections, fluctuation models and location velocity and acceleration dynamics for the same. Additionally, we can configure the radar signal emulator software to store the IQ data at the transmitter or at the receiver. We can define the signal to noise ratio. Uh, we can also define the center frequency of the hardware. So now I'm going to show you the example for a simple case in which we have a frequency hopping pulse, a linear FM modulation on the pulse. Uh, the center frequency has been offset by 8 megahertz. So every alternating pulse is going to have uh, a center frequency which is offset by 8 megahertz. The modulation bandwidth is 1 megahertz. The pulse width is 50 microseconds and it is it has a pulse repetition interval of 1 milliseconds. The SNR floor has been defined as 12 dBs and we are going to record the RX data which is the receiver data, these fields. So when I start this simulation, the IQ data file is generated on the server which resides on the hardware platform which I showed you. This IQ data is going to be recorded and then played back on the RF. 
So what you see here on the output is the frequency hopping linear FMs. You can see the two LFM chirps offset by 8 megahertz, modulation band bandwidth being 1 megahertz. Uh, what you see in the time domain is the uh, uh, pulse repetition interval of 1 milliseconds for the LFM pulses uh, that are being outputted from the digital to analog output which sits at 75 megahertz. So this is a slightly more complicated example in which we have four different transmitters, in fact four different pulse pair designs with variable pulse widths, staggering and hopping transmitters uh, with uh, eight different type of modulations on pulse on each of those uh, pulses within the pulse pair designs. We are staggering over the short PRI and also over the pulse group repetition intervals. Uh, we are recording the received data at SNR4 of 10 dBs. So once I start playing the session, uh, you would be able to see the time domain plot for the four pulse pair designs uh, with different uh, short PRI staggerings, pulse group repetition interval staggering and also the sidebands uh, on the spectrum analyzer for the polyphase radar codes uh, that are within those eight different modulations that we had designed. So this is an example for a simple linear FM transmitter which is scanning within the azimuth and elevation angles. Uh, the scan sectors are defined and the scan is happening as a diagonal uh, between the extremities of the azimuth and elevation. This induces uh, an envelope modulation on the pulses as can be seen from the time domain plot. So if we zoom in, we'll be able to see the periodic pattern of the envelope being repeated because of the diagonal scan that is happening. Uh, the intrapulse features can also be seen to be fluctuating with, the, with, with these certain patterns uh, that the scan induces. The rest of the parameters including the pulse repetition frequency, the pulse width, uh, the modulation bandwidth are all as designed from the graphical user interface for this radar signal emulator software. So on this note, I would like to conclude this demo for the radar signal emulator software. I hope that you enjoyed watching this short demo. Uh, if, if you would like to see a real life demo, please contact us and we will be happy to arrange this demo uh, in person or set up over a WebEx conference bridge. Thanks a lot for your time.